In this video, I will show you how to import an image or PDF files and using them as reference for architectural 3D modeling. So first I am going to import an image of hand-drawn, proportionate plan. For that here I am going to go File Import. Right here I have a JPEG file. I pick that, make sure the image option is turned on, I can import that because all supported type is selected here, and then click on Import. Then that's going to come and connect it to my cursor. Here I can click to any point on screen and drag it out a little bit, if I want. But it's not really going to get you to exact scale and precision. So to get the precise image, I have to actually scale the drawing. Now check the measurement with the tape measurement tool. Here it gave like 1.5 meter. But I know it's not the actual length. So click to the second point with tape tool and just type in the exact dimension. Then just hit enter. It comes up and asks if I want to resize the model. I am gonna hit yes. So now it's resized to the exact scale. You can then check if all other dimensions came out right or not. Now it's a matter of tracing this drawing and getting the dimensions in I want. Here I could just click arbitrarily on pick points, snapping orthogonally, and using this as sort of a reference for my drawing. But here if I want to actually draw the actual lengths, at this point I can just type in the value, hit enter, and continue. Now I got the exact footprint from the reference drawing. Even though the lines weren't straight, and I didn't have exact locations or dimensions. But this outcome is good enough to start working. So this is great example of modeling with a rough sketch. Now I will show how this will work, if you have the actual plan as a PDF or image file. Here I am talking about an instance where I want a scaled model, than just a general outline. As a quick disclaimer, PDF can be natively imported on Mac. But if you want to import them to Windows, first you have to convert the PDF to an image PNG file format, then you can import it to SketchUp as we previously did. And I can go to the same process of scaling and tracing this. Not tracing necessarily, but using is as a reference to draw. But first thing I want to look at is these dimensions. Here the values are not understandable. If I go to SketchUp Preferences in Windows and click on OpenGL, I have this option Use Maximum Texture Size. If I turn that on, I got a little warning that says, this is potentially going to slow down the SketchUp. Click on Yes. That will give a much clearer file. Now you can use the dimensions to scale down the drawing. To scale this, select Tape Measure Tool, click on the first point and just drag to the second point, click there again. Now type in the value, here it's 3.6 meter. Then hit enter. Once the model got scaled. From that point then I can actually start drawing, but again not able to snap, because there is not actually points. It's a bunch of pixels rather than actual lines. But I could use it as reference. Here I can actually look at the dimensions right on the screen and type in my dimensions as I go. Once we got the footprint, offset the wall width. So now as I use those dimensions rather than just clicking, I can tell this is an exactly scaled model. So there you go, thank you.